questions 47 to 49. So we're given some carboxylic acids and we're actually given the formulas and the names and some numbers. And so now it's just a matter of pattern recognition. So this is really just tangentially related to organic chemistry. This is just patterns, looking for pattern. Okay, so <clears throat> we're given the value for a methanoic acid. It has hydrogen, who knows what that means in terms of the value. But then we have ethanoic acid. And so its value is 68. So just having the ethanoic acid without any chlorine, the value is approximately 68. So now I'm just going to look at the other ones. Propanoic acid, so adding another carbon, but no chlorine, also around 68. Butanoic acid, that's N for normal. Uh, butanoic acid. It doesn't even matter. You don't need to know that because they already give you the formula. And that value is also around 68. And then, uh, well, obviously you would think that pentanoic acid will also have a value around 68 as long as there's no chlorine attached. So there's the pattern. And then, uh, you know, this is carbon number one, this is carbon number two, three, and four. And so this is the adjacent carbon to the carbonyl group is called the alpha carbon, and then it's beta and gamma, etc. So that's why you've heard of uh, alpha amino acids. Uh, the amino group is on this, this carbon, the alpha carbon. So I, I just put that there just so we can keep in mind this is carbon 2, 3, and 4. And so we can see what happens when the chlorine is on these different groups. Uh, when the chlorine is on the second carbon. That's the first time we see that is with chloroethanoic acid because uh, that's the second carbon. They didn't put two chloro because they don't need to because uh, the chlorine can only fit on the second carbon um, because uh, if it's a ethanoic acid, this carbon is already bonded four times. So it's uh, you can just write chloroethanoic. So anyway, when it is on this uh, second carbon, then the value is 46. Then you look up for other instances on the second carbon uh, to chloropropanoic acid. Okay, it's around 46 plus or minus 1. Then to chlorobutanoic acid, around uh, 46. So then, you know, we already have the pattern what's going to happen when it's on the second then let's look at the third carbon. So <clears throat> the first time we can see that is with 3-chloropropanoic acid. Uh, the value is around six, 60. And then 3-chlorobutanoic acid, around 60. So uh, now we have that. And then finally, 4-chlorobutanoic acid, it's around 66. So there it is. Uh, we, we have the values, and now we can answer all, all the questions. So just by you know creating just a little simple thing like this, when you're seeing, when you're noting that there's several, several questions based on the same concept, then, uh, then it's actually worth the time. Uh, but I think that many students might just look at the table and just uh, figure it out without uh, writing that. But so it's up to whatever you're, if you're more visual or, or whatever. So anyway, question 47, uh, which is the best estimate uh, for 2-chloro uh, pentanoic acid. So it, it's 2-chloro, so the best estimate would be 46. So uh, 47, the answer is A. <clears throat> then 48, uh, which of the following is, uh, would be closest to a value of 60? So we have 1, 2, 3-chloro. Anything with 3-chloro um, as long as it's an oic acid, uh, is what we would expect. So 48, the answer is A. And then for 49, which is follows most likely, the value of H of, okay, so the, so they've added a methyl group to the, uh, to the acid, but we're just concerned about what is the pattern with the chlorines. As long as the rest of the structure remains the same, then the issue is how, far is the chlorine from the carboxylic acid functional group. So, answer choice A is 3-chloro is less than 2-chloro. So that's 1, 2, 3-chloro is less than 2-chloro. No, 3-chloro is greater than 2-chloro. <laughs> and then answer B says 3-chloro is less than 4-chloro. 3-chloro is less than 4-chloro. Bingo. So answer choice B is correct. And then C is 4-chloro, 1, 2, 3, 4-chloro. 
is less than uh, two chloro. No, it's more than two chloro. And five chloro, well, we don't have any information about five chloro, but uh, we suspect uh, we are on the rise um, is less than three chloro. So that wouldn't make sense based on the current patterns that we see. So 49, the answer is B. And if you want to read up about carboxylic acids, you can look at organic chapter eight, but I don't think that'll help <laughs> at all for a question like this, which is really just, uh, you just have to do lots of practice questions.